All right, you guys. Um, I just got done getting ready. I'm gonna be on my way to my doctor's appointment. I'm going to meet my surgeon. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take my camera inside because I haven't asked if I can record and stuff. But I will record again when I get there to show you guys who and where I'm going to. Well, not who, but where I'm gonna go get my surgery done at. Um, and then after my appointment is done, I will share my story with you guys. Not the full story, but just a story from today, if that makes sense. So I'll share what happens today. That's what the story is going to be about. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the doctors. Bye. All right, you guys. Um, I did just get here. Um, I wanted to show you guys like the big sign of the name but I'll just tell you guys because there's no sign unless I walk up to the door and I'm not going to take my camera out but I am going to Butology here in Fresno they do have more than one location I believe there's like one in Bakersfield he's such a good doctor I tried to get him but he's booked until next year and my I'm supposed to been have got my surgery done since March I want to say yeah March 19th but since all this stuff happened with corona and then other stuff due to my health on top of that so yeah I was supposed to get my surgery done like six almost seven months ago I want to say so yeah let's see how today goes if today goes well and um I like this doctor and his work whatever I am gonna have my surgery done really soon I'll keep you guys updated on that I'm supposed to be doing a video on it that's why if not um with this new doctor then i'm gonna wait for my old doctor the one that was supposed to originally do my surgery which he's currently on vacation um he won't be back until like january the next appointment would be in february for me so if i don't like this doctor's work today um i'll be getting my surgery around february with my original doctor but we'll see how everything goes i'll keep you guys updated and yeah i'll see you guys when my appointment is over or done <laughs> bye you guys i'm so annoyed right now my appointment was at 10 50 i'm still waiting in my car i'm not annoyed because of them i am annoyed because my stomach hurts and yeah you know but they have you sit in your car first oh my gosh hold on i think it's time for me to go in because i just got a text message <sighs> no that wasn't them but you have to sit in your car and then they'll text or call actually they'll call i believe they said when the room is ready and the doctor is ready for me to go in due to covid they have you sit in your car in the air and cool down so the temperature is right to go in when they check your temperature so i'm here sitting in my car with my mask on i hate wearing this mask every time i have makeup on wasting a mask all the time every time i wear makeup at least and i go out so yeah i'll be back bye oh my gosh i just got done i'm so oily at this point uh the mask probably took some of my makeup off i just got done um, it's currently almost 2 o'clock p.m. and my appointment was at 10.50. Took pretty long because the doctor did have other patients to see. It went good, but I'm going to save that story for you guys later. See you guys when I get to my destination. Bye-bye. Hi, you guys. As you can see, today I am by myself. Um, today I am having Chipotle don't judge me i don't really get much on here besides um white rice i'm not too sure what the meat is exactly called but it starts with the b and it's like shredded and then i just get lettuce on top i get the guac on the side with a bag of chips as you can see and then i get the red sauce which is i believe their spiciest sauce i heard on the side as well and today i am by myself as i mentioned in the beginning um 
And yeah, today I'm gonna be eating Chipotle and sharing my doctor's appointment story with you guys. Um, I did mention it in the beginning. I did go meet with my new surgeon. A lot of you guys probably don't know that I am getting a breast augmentation. Um, a lot of things been going on. I was supposed to then get my surgery on March 19th, but everything that went on, the corona and then my health problems and so forth, so on. But here I am today eating Chipotle. Let's get started on this. Wait, I need a um, thumbnail. Let me make it look a little... Right, there you are, the thumbnail. Okay, well, let me get started on this before I start talking because once I talk, I probably won't eat as much. So, um, just pour the sauce on top. I know people usually like mix it all together, but I don't. I just eat one side and then I go from there. Like, I'll eat this side first and clear this little side and then start from, you know. And then I have the guac on the side with the chips here. All right, I am back. My chips in a plate and then my chipotle. I haven't had chipotle in about, I want to say, over a month. Yeah, over a month, I believe. Hmm. This is also the first thing I've ate all day since I woke up. I worked at 8, 8 o'clock a.m. And then I had my doctor's appointment at 10.50 in the morning, obviously. Let me give you guys a... I'm trying to play with my camera. I won't even focus. Whatever. But Chipotle's guac is so fire. I'm not sure if it's because the purple onion they put in it, but it's so good to me. Like, as, you know, a little dipping, not in here, but on the side to dip with the chips. Mmm. I just realized I forgot my water. It's okay, I can have water after I'm done eating. I got up so early today. I had to go pick up the work phone. I got up like that. Seven. Um, I picked the work up, the work phone up from my cousin's house, which she was about maybe no more than ten minutes away from me. So I got up early, went to go pick the work phone. Was working. I had to shower, get ready, and then I had my doctor's appointment. It was a long day. I woke up really early. I felt like I was getting up for school, having to shower, get ready, and just. Feeling rushed because I had an appointment at 10.50. Well, I had to be there by 10.50. And then I had to get up because I start work at 8 a.m. So I had to get up and go pick up the phone before 8. So yeah, it was bringing me flashbacks to school. I miss school. I do realize that I am talking fast. But that's how I talk. And I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me well because there's nobody here, no TV on, the air conditioning is not on. <laughs> I'm saying that because I know in my last videos I did have all that. My air on, my TV on. So nothing's on, you guys should hear me pretty fine or perfectly fine. Mmm. As I mentioned, I am getting my breast done. Um, 
so it's kind of a long story but not really i'm gonna try to make it short and tell you guys what i want you guys to know unless you guys want to know more um i was supposed to get my surgery done on march 19th um and that's when the coronavirus and everything came so my surgery got postponed and so i want to say they called me before june well around june and i had well they tried to reschedule my appointment well they I actually did reschedule i rescheduled it on june 30th so after the little coronavirus stuff died down a little bit and they allowed the surgeons to start doing surgery again um they had called me and i rescheduled for june 30th and you know i can't tell the future so my surgery comes i want to say like three or two days before my surgery something with my health came up so i had to reschedule again well i didn't end up rescheduling but i had to you know get my surgery postponed obviously until my health got better or whatever um i didn't reschedule that time i did wait until i got better to call and reschedule again and it obviously didn't get better because here we are i'm gonna get my surgery what it's october now it's been how many months it's been about six months since the first time i was supposed to get my surgery but since june it's been like what three four months i'm just thinking at the top of my head but yeah um i'm fine now everything's well with me um so as i have a hard time telling stories like in order well i had a doctor that was supposed to do my surgery a specific doctor um he is now that i rescheduled and i'm okay and i'm ready like i'm completely just ready for surgery my health is fine everything's fine like, i'm ready to go into surgery um my doctor since i postponed it well i had to get it postponed without like my how do i say it the first time i got my surgery postponed it was not my choice to get it postponed i had no choice right because coronavirus they weren't allowing the surgeons to give surgery or whatever um and then turns out june 30th that was my fault something to do with well not my fault but that was something to do with you know yeah kind of my fault because that's my problem like i'm supposed to take care of my health before you know i go into surgery or this and that my health you know that's something i'm supposed to take care of that i control basically um and so um yeah that came up and you know it kept happening you know my health wasn't getting better due to my own personal reasons and you know me like as i mentioned i control my health you know whether it's good or bad you know it's within myself to better my health basically um so yeah and turns out my uh original surgeon he did end up leaving on vacation um during this time where i called to reschedule since i'm better as in better as in my health um he's currently on vacation and um long story short he won't be taking well he won't be doing any surgeries until next year um around january february and so i was thinking like mm, i don't think i want to wait that long because it's going to be like over a year since you know i already paid off my surgery um and everything so you know i don't want like i just don't want to wait it's not that well basically i feel like i am getting impatient you know even though most of it is probably my fault because i could have been had my surgery done since june 30th but um yeah uh so yeah, he's on vacation. Uh, he won't be back until next year. So they did give me an option of a new doctor that is currently working right now. A new doctor, surgeon, kind of the same thing. And um, they gave me the option to have it done on October 21st and meet the doctor before that and see what I think. If not um, on the 21st of October, then just wait for my original doctor. So today I did go meet the new surgeon that will be doing my surgery. Um, turned out perfectly fine it was good he told me a lot of things on his own you know like i didn't really well i didn't have any questions really and i didn't have you know i didn't he told me things that i didn't have to ask him he told me like himself you know things that i'd want to know like i 
like I didn't think of asking, you know, so I was really thankful for that. Um, moral of the story, I did choose him. Um, I'm going to go with this new doctor here. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his um, last name, but his name is Walter or Walt. But I am, I don't think I mentioned, I am going to Beautology here in Fresno, California. Um, I'm not going to go too into de too much into details about the size I'm getting and whatever. I will save that for another video. I was just coming on here to tell you guys that I did choose this new doctor. And um, he also mentioned that he worked in Beverly Hills. He did work with the... Uh, oh gosh, I forgot. There's this... I forgot what his... He had mentioned that he worked with a doctor that was on TV. You guys heard of him or he was on a TV show. He was the first... The only thing I remember is that because he told me so much information. Like really, like I forgot that I forgot. But he told me that he was one of the first surgeons on like t on a TV show. So if you guys know... Well, I'm pretty sure some of you guys know who I'm talking about since he was the first... Um, doctor on I believe his uh, name his last name starts with the F so if you guys know comment down below and let me know because I forgot if I hear the name then I'll remember but I just know his name started with the F um, look at me not even eating because I'm talking if I eat I'm gonna forget <laughs> what I'm gonna say next basically but um yeah and he also worked with some Victoria's Secret models he was explaining to me like the sizes and you know but as I mentioned, I will save my size and, you know, everything for another video for one of my surgeries before and after my surgery. But yeah, I did stick with this doctor. Um, I like him. He told me a lot of information that I didn't even think of asking. Thank, thank God. Um, and yeah, I will be sticking with him. And I have a post-op appointment, I believe that's what it's called, on the 8th of October, which is this month. Um, and then my surgery will be on the 21st. Other than that, I will save everything else for another video. And yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's October 1st already. October 1st. My sister's birthday is in 19 days. Well... Since today is October 1st, her birthday is technically in 18 days. Um, she is older than me. I believe she's turning 23. 23, yeah. She's turning 23. Actually, she's either turning... Yeah, I think she's turning 23. She should be 22 right now. It's too much to keep up with. Oh my god. I don't know if it's because I took it out the bag. But this chip... It's so stall. I mean, stale. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me test another one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Chipotle. Count your days. Hold on. Look. Not. Excuse me, but this shit is stale. Well, at least that one's stale. But. My sister's birthday is coming up. Oh my gosh. Halloween is coming up, you guys. And I know Halloween is not going to be the same this year. I have to think of something for my siblings. I might make them candy bags. And put some, you know, useful things in it. And some sweets. And I was thinking, like, sweets. But, like, fruit cups. And, you know, some useful things. Like, for my baby sister. Um, you know, uh, baby snacks. Well, for her, of course, no no candy. So I was thinking like baby snacks, like a, not technically a candy bag, but like a, you know, a little, what is those things that people make? Like a basket with stuff in it, Halloween thing, you know? But useful things in it and, you know, baby snacks, baby clothes, baby toys, something like that. Mm. Um... Holidays are coming up. Oh gosh, nothing's gonna be the same until all this stuff is over, obviously.
do you guys how do you guys eat your chipotle let me know do you guys um like get the chip and put you know the rice the meat the sauce on here or do you guys eat it how i eat it like you know really weird i guess or i eat the chips separate with the guac and then this separate i don't like make it like a dip you know How am I doing by the way? This is my first video by myself and I feel like I'm doing fine. Mm. I love lettuce by the way. Mm. I don't really like beans. I like beans but I like like them smashed. Mm, what else? Winter is coming up. I can't wait to wear sweaters, boots, scarves, all that good stuff. I'm so ready. It's still hot these days. It's pretty, it's kind of cold, you know, here and there some nights here in Fresno, California. But other than that, in the daytime, it's still hot. Mm. I also want to go to a pumpkin patch, but I'm not too sure if any are even going to open this year. I haven't seen anything on the internet about any pumpkin patch being open this year. I have, but not here in Fresno. The area code was not 559. It was a whole other area code, so I know that was not Fresno for sure. <laughs> I want to take my little sister, my little sister. I'm back. I'm not too sure what happened, but the camera did stop. Um, as I was mentioning in the last video before I stopped, um, I do want to take my little sisters. Um, I have two little sisters. I do want to take them to a pumpkin patch this year. Also my niece. Um, so hopefully the pumpkin patch is going to be open this year. I want to take them, but then again, I don't because I know there's going to be a lot of people and it's, you know, it's risky, honestly. Um, my other, my, I have two little sisters. One is one years old and one is 13. So, and then my niece is two. So, yeah, and I know it's going to be a lot of people. Um, I want to take my little sister for sure, the one year old, because she was kind of born when... Well, she wasn't born when the coronavirus came, which is like around March, right? Or February. She was born in May, but she was too small to, you know, understand or to walk, you know. But as she started to learn how to walk, that's when the coronavirus stuff came. And so she didn't get to... My mistake, homegirl was born when coronavirus was already here. You know, my parents didn't really take her anywhere. Um, she stayed inside all the time. Even if we went to my aunt's house or, you know, anywhere like my family, she always had to stay inside. She probably only seen outside for no more than 10 minutes, honestly. So every time she goes outside, she's so happy. Like she doesn't want to go inside or she cries to come outside. Like, like she never wants to be home. She's getting older, so she cries every... Like, she can be in, I'm saying like a lot, I know, but she can be like in my mom's room, right? Once she hears that front door open, she will run out. So you're lucky enough to make it out the door without her seeing you or she's going to cry to come out or to leave the house. Like, she's so cute. She's getting older. Like, she knows 
where her home's at and she knows when she wants to leave and get out of there. So, mm, every chance she gets, you know, that she sees somebody leave the house or leave the door, out the outside door, which she knows where the door is to go outside, she will cry to go with you. Well, it depends who you are. Another thing about her is she's scared of people she does not know. Like, she's scared. She's the funniest babe. Well, she's not only funny, but her reaction to when she sees somebody she doesn't know is so funny. Hopefully one day I can catch it on camera and you guys will see. Like, she's like a grown little girl. Like, if she walks past somebody she doesn't know, she, like, walks, like, like, you know, like, literally, like, covering her face like this, walking. And it's the cutest thing ever. It's so funny at the same time. I love her. Honestly, I've been getting really full fast these days. Like, I feel like I ate a lot, but in reality, I didn't. Mm. This is how I eat my food. My chipotle, at least my bowls. I was mentioning I eat one side first and then I just go from there. I'm trying to give you guys an idea of what I mean. <clears throat> but, yeah. I'm surprised I'm not tired. I've been up all day, basically. Um, what's today? Today is Thursday. And it's currently like 3 p.m. right now as I'm recording. Um, yesterday, which is Wednesday, um, I tried to sleep early, but I kept waking up, tossing and turning. So I'm surprised I was able to get up this morning. Mm. This is going to be my last bite. Let me share with you guys how good this looks. Hopefully my hair doesn't go on my food. Okay. That looks so healthy, huh? Oh. Mm. All right, you guys, that was my last bite. I just came on here today to share with you guys my little um, experience meeting the new surgeon. I didn't give you guys that much information, but when my surgery comes, well, the day of my post-op, I'll probably share some, um, actually the day before and after my surgery. After my surgery, I'll give you guys a full, you know, story about how my surgery went and everything. Um, and what size I ended up choosing what kind of implant did I get, whether I got saline or silicone. Um, my post-op probably won't really be much. All they're gonna have me do is take my blood work and go get checked for COVID again. And I said again because the first time I was supposed to get my surgery done, I had to go get checked for COVID. So they're gonna make me do that again. They're gonna check my blood. So the next time you guys will hear about my surgery, like in actual detail will be after my surgery when I recover a little bit but I will record as well before so before and after but after my surgery as I recover I will share a story in details of how my experience went and everything else yeah mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video or short video whatever you guys want to call it don't forget to, hold on, <laughs> have to make sure to swallow my food first. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with everyone. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!